read fun books, pig books, and all kinds of stuff. Dogs in Schools with the Habit Program really started when the Habit Program started because it's just a natural fit. Kid and, kids and dogs. It just works. Um, and then around 2001, I believe, they decided it needed to be its own part of the program. So we branched it off into the school program and then the visitation program. Um, school programs started in a, just a handful of, of schools and classes. And now we have dogs in seven counties and in around 43 different classrooms. We have both uh, what's called a, a rough reading dog that comes in there for a visit and lasts about an hour a week. And then we also have classroom dogs walk in and uh, work with the kids with that dog. So there, there are two parts of it, but yeah. uh, both ways the, the dogs and the kids work together. For those who are fearful of reading out loud, it's a wonderful program. They're so much more relaxed. They can, they can read, they can make mistakes, and they know Ollie doesn't care. They can try their best, and Ollie will look at them, and when they get stressed, they'll stop reading, and they'll pet Ollie, and, and then they'll go back to their book and try again. It's just a relaxed atmosphere. And um, Luke doesn't correct, you know, he doesn't care if they miss a word. He just loves hearing their voice and being around them. That is just some one-on-one -on -one time with a non-judgmental volunteer and an animal who loves them completely for that moment. And a lot of the kids in today's world don't have a lot of love in their lives. And so to have the dog focus on them and to love them completely is really a life-altering time for those kids. It helps them gain confidence not to be fearful to talk out, to voice their ideas. For the students, it gives them the confidence that they need to be able to read out in class. Um, I, I don't know about you, but when I was in, in elementary school, I hated it when I knew that I was going to be the one called on next to read. I hated it. Um, this gives them time to practice and feel a little bit more comfortable. And so they're a little bit more outgoing in their classwork. Uh, gives them a little bit more confidence in the world in general. Uh, we've also seen some pretty good work uh, with kids who've had, you know, they're just having a bad day. Something's happened at home. You know, our, our volunteers hear, hear everything from what their baby sister did the night before to, you know, mom and dad had a fight. And the kids will tell the dogs things that they won't tell, you know, other humans. Um, we've also done a lot of good work in special needs classes. Uh, we've done some CDC classes with uh, autistic children who uh, don't like to be touched and by the, the end of the year with the dog they're hugging on the dog and you know shaking hands with the volunteer or saying sentences where they haven't said sentences before. Um,